we've got a 12 inch piece here so 12 inches long and you can print these off which is what I plan to do but I just wanted to show it right away and now we're gonna go we're gonna start here we're gonna start with that first three quarter inch hole we're gonna go at one inch so I'm gonna mark the center point of that at one inch and then we'll drill that but I noticed when I was making this I don't have the distance between this all right so now we're gonna find the center point of that from the edge it was so I noticed I had the distance for these two on the drawings so I went in I updated that let me move that over to get this because it would be easier to measure from the edge to there. We are on part one right here. You've got to get everything lined up because if these holes are not perfectly parallel right across from each other, when you tap it, it's going to be off. And if it's off too much, it's not going to work. I'm going to flip that around, lock this down in my vise. We're going to use the vise. That is 2.38 inches from the top. So we measure down almost two and a half inches, just shy of it. We'll make our little X across there. Now this other hole, three quarter inch hole, goes out to the back part of the frame tube. We'll do that one last. Let's go ahead and get these done first. The next hole just below that is gonna be 4.88. So let's come down. We'll do these all at one time so we don't have to move this around. So almost five inches. So right there's the five inch mark. So we'll go right there. That's going to be our cross. And then the next one is seven. So the next one is 7.88. So almost eight inches. We'll make, mark that one in distance from the side. And the last one is... 10.59 so almost 10.6 so just past 10 and a half we'll mark that one this part and the base tube part one the top part of the frame tube and the base tube are going to be the two hardest parts to make because we've got to make sure all of this lines up perfectly just a little bit that should be right there on the half there we go that should keep everything lined up each location that's going to indicate where we drill and we've got to have those go straight up and down. And I'll show you how we're going to keep this positioned on our drill press. So there's our marks. We're going to push these into place. This came off my pot notcher. And so I mounted it to the drill press. So I could get it all centered up. Now if, this, if you have a similar situation and it won't mount up perfectly. What you can do is just drill the holes into this where you want it. Put a little piece of wood underneath here, just so as it presses down, it won't pivot. We're gonna take a little drop of oil, place on there. Let's go ahead and drill these holes. This is a 16 millimeter drill bit. The tube that's going to go in is three quarters of an inch, but if you did this at three quarters of an inch, it would be too big. You wouldn't be able to, your threads wouldn't touch. Let's find my one inch mark. So where that half inch is, 
going to be my halfway point because I'm going to rotate these up. We'll bring that down. So this one is only going to be an inch from the top where that cross goes. We've already got our center line so we don't have to center it up again. But we're going to make our cross right there. Alright, good. So we got the holes in there. We're going to thread these, but I'm going to show you a better way to thread this. Keep everything lined up. Right there, that feels pretty level. Um, let's see how far apart those are. Yeah, that's at the half inch mark. So let's get those threads formed. Alright, once that starts to thread in, let's keep that level as we make these threads. As level as possible. So that it'll line up to the hole on the other side. Once we get about four or five turns in, we should have enough threads. To continue to make those. That looks pretty good. So we're just keeping that as level as possible right up in here. So I'm actually going to take my time for the first few threads. So you can see I'm trying to keep that level. So as that penetrates through we're just uh, checking, making sure it stays level as we make those bottom threads. That looks good. Yeah, looks like it's going to stay level. All right, we got those threads made. And then we can back this out. We'll use our piece of pipe to test everything. Let's run that down. We'll check it with square. Um, we're going to check these threads with the square. Yeah. Last one you're going to have to thread is the end where that bottom part of the frame tube is going to thread in. So I'm going to go ahead. So I just made a couple of large threads on this. Larger threads for the inner portion of this pot. And that should work good. Hey, I don't know if I can get that out now. I guess that's a good thing. We made part one. And then we made the swing arm tube. That's this one. We're going to put those two together and then we'll do the top part the harness attaches so, to. So this that's going to go to the back frame. This is going to be where the harness attaches. This is going to be where the motor mount attaches. And this one is where the swing arm is going to attach. These are with the smaller threads. So that's an inch wide. So that means we have two inches left. We're going to have another tube that's about three inches long, three and a half inches long. I don't remember. Um, it's going to thread on here, and that's what the swing arms are going to tap into, leaving us with an additional inch off the end. Now, this one's five inches long, and that's so if we needed to pull this out of the frame, we could thread it all the way across, kind of turn it a little bit, and thread it out. All right, there we go. There's the first part of that frame tube being set up. That looks pretty square. That looks pretty square. So that means 
our methods are working for drilling the holes. These are going to be the hardest holes to get into this whole frame. Uh, the ones on the bottom here were done with the larger threads because this was just a test piece. These fit in there and lock in pretty good. So the NC10 threads for the three quarter inch are what we used there. And those work great. So larger threads for the portion that the um, bottom front frame tube is going to thread into. We haven't made that yet. This is just a test piece just to determine what type of threads we needed 